Welcome back guys to the Terrain Series playlist. So far we have created a new model, switches, alarms, alerts, set up telemetry, upgraded the firmware of the Tyrannus and the receivers, uh, custom sounds, and much more. If you haven't seen that playlist, look in the top right of your screen now or in the description below. Today we will be creating custom images and there's two different types of images and there's also two different ways of creating the images. So I'm going to show you uh, all four situations. So if we turn the trance on. Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. The startup image that we just saw is going to be one type of image we create. The other type of image is going to be your model image, which you see right here. So as always, first thing we will do is enter the trance bootloader, plug in our USB cable. Put it to the side and now let's go back to the interwebs. Uh, the first thing you probably want to do, you don't have to, but uh, I would recommend going to irfanview.com or irfanview, however you want to say it. And the download is going to be over here. Uh, you have to pick a download depending on what type of computer you have, what type of system, either 32-bit or 64-bit. If you're not sure which one you have, you can just do this. Uh, just go down to your PC, right click, properties, and it's going to show you right here under system type. After you download it and you install it, at one point it's going to ask you if you want to add in any extensions. I did add in the BMP extension and finished the installation. After it's fully installed and all that, I created a desktop icon which I have right here. So if we click on that, here it is. But we'll, we will actually come back to this. Uh, first thing I want to show you is the other way. So if we just go right here to, uh, I'll just use Microsoft Paint. Okay, once we are in Microsoft Paint, uh, what you want to do is go to Resize. And uh, for this example, let's just say we want to make a startup image, not the model image. The startup image is actually bigger you get more pixels to play around with and the size has to be 212 by 64 so if we come here and we type in 212 you will also notice that it's going to be 212 down here that's because you have to disable the maintain aspect ratio and now it will let you type in the 64 so there we go 212 by 64 and we want it to be in pixels, not percentage. After that, click OK, and that will make your box smaller like this. I will now just go to View and zoom in, and there we go. Now let's go back to here. You can, uh, if you want, if you have a picture that you want to use, you can uh, just go to File and Open and place that picture in this box or you can draw out any design you want you can use text anything like that so uh, personally what I'm going to do I'm just going to use text the other thing I need to say is these images have to be in black and white uh, they don't have to be in black and white right now you can actually make it a grayscale once you export the file uh, but anyway I'm going to well the point I was trying to make is you can't have a white background and a black image or you can have a black background with a white image. Personally I think the black background with the white image looks better so I'm just going to click on this paint thing in black and make all this black. Now I will add in my text. Okay so here's my image. Uh, once you are done you just want to go to file and save as pick BMP picture for bitmap uh, pick the file that you want it to save to somewhere where you know what's going to go then save as type we want to do 16 color bitmap then file name the file name has to be 10 characters or less and that's it now you can click save click OK and our picture is done now the other way of doing this, if we go back to the IR fan view, ear fan view, we want to click file and open. And this time I'll use a I'll use a picture. I'm just gonna pick out a random picture, so this should do. 
Okay, there's my picture. Next, we just want to go to Image and Resize, Resample. And if we are doing a, uh, like I said, your startup screen image, the splash screen, has to be 212 by 64. If you want a model image, it has to be 64 by 32. So it's going to be even more pixelated. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Make sure this is set to pixels. Uh, and just pretty much copy everything else I have here. Make sure all these boxes are checked off. And just do what I have here. Then click OK. Go back to image. Decrease color depth. Make sure you have it set to 16 colors for BPP. Click OK. Oh, also make sure it's uh, set to grayscale. Now that should have made it grayscale, which it did, but just in case, I'm going to go back to image and convert to grayscale. And that should be it. Now our image is 64 by 32. It's in grayscale, uh, 16 colors, uh, which is 4 bits. Uh, now we just need to export it. So, uh, meeting the other criteria needed for the trans to recognize the file, we will do save as. Once again, the file name has to be 10 characters or less. Save as type. You want BMP, not to be confused with BPM, but BMP. And that's it. Then you can click save. And there's our model image. Now we will just close that out and get both these pictures put into the Tyrannus. Like I showed you earlier in the video, I already went ahead and connected the Tyrannus to the computer. So now we will just uh, go to where we saved those pictures. And I have mine in my Tyrannus folder under my pics. Take both of these images and I'm going to copy both of them go down to the memory card on the Tyrannus under the BMP folder and paste both these images into the BMP folder. With them now in the Tyrannus there's actually two different ways you have to uh, set these. Uh, the startup image is going to be a little bit different so let's cover that one first. We're going to go into the Open TX Companion click Read Models and Settings from Radio click on this little settings cog and we want to go to splash screen. Well first make sure your SD structure path is set like if you go to uh, your memory card we see that right now because I have a bunch of stuff plugged in it's underneath my F drive so we will go back here and it's set to E I need to change that to F which is should be labeled USB drive that's your memory card on the Tyrannus and I will select folder and it's now changed to F now for splash screen we want to select image and find the large image that we created and that's right here once you're done there just click OK now we need to write this to the Tyrannus, but instead of clicking write models and settings to radio, that's not going to work. You actually have to write firmware to the radio. So I will click firmware, make sure you're still using the most updated version of firmware, and make sure you have use profile start screen, which is this, then write to TX. Be patient, once it's done you can click close. Now if we disconnect the Tyrannus, power it off, then power it back on. Hey JC, welcome back. Okay, now setting the model image, uh, you would go to menu to go to your model, hit page, then model image. Uh, you would just scroll through here and find it, which I've already done off camera. and there is my PBF small file that I made then when I go back we see the model image right here so that's going to do it guys uh, that's the basics um, 
like I said, you, you can use Microsoft Paint, you can paste a picture you downloaded, you can paint your own picture, you can modify it, you can do whatever you want. Um, but that's how you create it and upload it. So thanks for watching, I will see you guys again soon.